On this video, I'm going to teach you how to draw the structure of an acidic amino acid at various pH values. And to do this, I'm going to be using aspartic acid as my example. Aspartic acid has a pi of 3.0. If you're not familiar with the concept of pi, I want you to back up to my previous video. That's where I explain what the pi means. Acidic amino acids are a little bit trickier than neutral amino acids or nonpolar amino acids because the R group of an acidic amino acid contains a, another carboxylic acid group. So we have to think not only about how the pH affects our amino group and our normal acid group, but also how does it affect the acid of the R group as well. So starting with a pH that's roughly the same as a pi, um, here we have our aspartic acid with a pi of 3.0 in a pH of 3.0. When the pH is about the same as the pi, the amino and the acid groups are existing as the Zwitter ions. So we have our COO minus and we also have our NH3 plus. And you can see from the drawing that I have there that the R group has the COOH version of the acid. So it looks, it's going to look like this. Whatever acidic amino acid you have, your amino group is going to be NH3+, your acid group is going to be COO-, and then whatever your R group might be, the acid group that's on your R group is going to be in the COOH form. The overall charge for an acidic amino acid when it is at its PI is neutral because we have a positive charge and we have a negative charge and they're balancing each other out. So let's think about what would happen if we lowered the pH, something less than the pi. So let's go down here and kind of modify this structure. Let's say that we are at a pH of one. So that's a pH that is less than our pi value. And what's gonna happen in that case, uh, when our pH drops, we have seen before from our previous video that this causes the acid group to no longer be negative charged. So we're gonna put that hydrogen back on that particular oxygen. At this type of pH, our acid group will be COOH. Our amino group is still going to be NH3+. The R group is still going to be in the COOH form. The charge on this particular type, this particular version of this amino acid is going to be a plus one because all we have is the positive charge on the nitrogen and no charges anywhere else. Now let's consider what happens if the pH goes up. So the pH is going to get higher. Let's say our pH is a five. So we've raised it up a bit from the pi, which is three. If the pH starts to go up, this has an effect on the amino group. So we've seen in the past that that means that this amino group is going to be NH2 instead of NH3+. There's going to be no charge on it at all. This is not going to change the acid group from the original configuration. And also a slight increase in pH is not going to have any effect on the R group either. So at this slightly higher pH, we are going to have our acid group as COO minus. Our amine group is going to be NH2 with no charge on it. And the R group is still going to be a COOH. The charge on this version of this amino acid is a negative one. We just have that negative charge on the oxygen atom. Now, if we get into a situation where our pH is significantly higher than the pi, so we're going to go way up in pH. Our pi is uh, 3.0, so let's say that this is a pi or a pH of 12. We're way up above that pH. When the pH goes up, this has the same effect on the amino group. So instead of being NH3+, it's now going to be NH2 neutral. We're going to leave this carboxylic acid part alone. We're going to remove the hydrogen from the carboxylic acid group on the R group, and we're going to put a negative charge down there as well. So when the pH gets high enough, it's going to affect our R group. That's the only situation in which the R group is affected. So we're going to have a COO- on our, our normal acid group. The amino group is going to stay uh, NH2 with no charge on it, and the R group is going to be also a COO-. For this particular version of the molecule, we have two negatively charged oxygen atoms, and so the charge on this version is a negative 2.